Oof, 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 oof. Yes, yes. Right. Uh, I'll start again. I have welcome. Uh, today's not. Uh, it's not a review or anything like that. Basically, it's a bit of a sort of sort of a a mini vlog. I, in fact, no, I'd call it a mini shop vlog. That's unusual, isn't it? <laughs> mini shop vlog, right? Uh, now, this is purely off the peg. I mean, basically, I just decided to jump in front of the camera. There's a reason for it, yeah. I decided to jump in front of the camera and just sort of spill something out, uh, whatever came to mind. And, I, and I'll tell you what it is, yeah. Basically, uh, over the last couple of days, I've visited a few uh, bricks and mortar, BAM shops, yeah. Uh, vape shops, basically. Uh only because I've been in search for, for something, see if there's anything unusual, see how vape shops are in general. And I got a little bit disillusioned with the way uh, you're treated when you get in a lot of these shops. Don't forget, uh, it's not a, when it comes to vape shops, there's not a lot, an awful lot of vape shops which watch YouTube. So I'm quite safe in it. I think I've only ever been in two shops where this ah, Professor Vapes. Uh, so I'm quite safe going in them places. I don't really have to divulge anything. And I usually go in under the pretense that I don't know nothing about vaping and just see how they act, you know what I mean? And over the last couple of, about two to three days, I'd say, I've, I've had, I, I live in Manchester. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I live in Manchester. Absolutely, all throughout the borough, in all different areas, is always going to be a vape shop. He is. And... Uh, Basically, one's just opened up down the road. I can't remember the name. I think it's called the Vape Shop. I think <laughs> how original is that? Uh, and I'm telling you how it goes. Basically, you go in a shop, and what I expect when I walk in a shop is to be able to peruse, you know, to be able to look around and see what they've got for sale and things like that. And um, the worst thing you can do, by the way, which I have learned on this trip, is go into a, a vape shop that's empty because straight away you're not going to get the chance. Now, what happens when you go in these shops, you walk in and the first thing is, what comes out of the mouths is, I had all welcome or whatever, uh, what can we do you for? You know, what can we sell you, that sort of thing. What are you interested in? And it's like, well, hang on a minute, if it was a new vapor, I've got to approach this in a different way. So I usually go in and turn around and say, well, I've got, I, I, these people keep telling me that I should stop smoking and start this, you know, electric cigarette thing. That's, you know, I don't give no games away. And, uh, you know, I'd say... Six times out of ten, it's going to be some idiot who's going to turn around and just try to sell me the best thing he's got in the shop or something what they've got a load of. You understand what I'm saying? They've absolutely got tons and tons of it, so this is going to be it. Uh, and it's very rare you go in and they sort of ask you questions. That's what I found out. I found out it's very rare that they ask you a lot of questions when you're in a newbie. It's just like, well, we've got this guy. We can just sell him this, that sort of thing. And... Um, so sometimes when I go in the shops, I crack on that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I've been vaping for about, you know, a year and I want to upgrade, that sort of thing. Uh, but more than likely, I just want to have a look around. And, and the worst thing is when you go in, you don't have the option of looking around, you know, sort of it straight away. So now I'm coming to the point of why I made this vlog, because over the last few days, that's the sort of way it's gone. It's been, you know, you, you no real help. Just try to sell you. That's it. And then uh, what it was is that recently, a few, I think it was a couple of months ago, I did a review on the uh, J-Well Passy, J-Well Passy 2, yeah? A uh, marvellous little mod, really is a really good little mod. And uh, my mate who let me borrow that mod for the review had bought it from a shop in uh, Cheadle. Now, Cheadle's not a million miles away from me, and I was actually going to Stockport at the time, and I thought, well, while I'm at it, I'm going to call into Cheadle and see this shop, because my mate says, you want to see the size of this shop? It's so small. It's got to be the smallest one in Britain. Uh, so I was sort of intrigued, you know what I mean? Now, he went there, and the, the, the reason it intrigued me to go down is the fact that they were saying, selling J-Well products. There's not a lot of people sell J Well Pro, I mean J Well products, without a doubt, they're one of the best products you can get. But for some reason, over here, we're all sort of geared at that night, at that Nike attitude, not that Adidas attitude, that Alessi attitude. It's got to have a name behind it, you know what I mean? So everybody sells Joy Tech, everybody sells, you know, Kanga Tech. It, all the, the, the normal things are sold in every single shop, and all they try to do is push it out to you. 
And the fact that this shop sold j -Well products are sort of out there. It's like, well, what, how come a shop selling j -Well products when we're talking about a French company now? I mean, I can go in France and I can buy j -Well products all over the show. Uh, but the fact that they had it, I thought, no, I'm going to Stockport. I'm going to make that extra journey and I'm going to go up there. Now, I'm going to be up front with you. I did actually email them and says, uh, I did a review of a product that I got from your, uh, you know, your my my mate got from your shop should i say and uh i just wanted to call up and have a look around your shop you know and have you got this and have you got that and so it was well gemmed up on it anyway uh and on the day that i did turn up which was like yesterday yeah um the boss wasn't there so the person who was talking to wasn't there you know what i mean so it was like oof a bit lucky here sort of thing i was into the shop and the first thing is and which before we go any further it's called uh no smoking I want you to remember that name because if you ever get the chance uh, and you come across this shop, just call in. You know what I mean? Uh, so it goes in and uh, it was one customer being served when we went in the shop. And as I walked in, it was like, whoa, this is a small shop. But the good thing about the shop, what I found is that I, it was nothing in your face. It wasn't like I've got to look at all these hundreds of products and which one should I be looking? You know, when you've got too much, you know, when you've got too much overload, too much information, it was none of that. This shop was such a calm atmosphere. You went in and I just felt, I felt at home. I felt like this is one company, and this before I even spoke to them, this is one company who've got their act together and understand that everybody out there isn't just mad cloud chasers. They're not mad. Now, the next thing... I'm going to point out to you, and if you go to vape shops, you'll notice, if you look at the windows, the windows is a good sign of how clean the shop is. It always is. Now, we're not just talking about polished windows, yeah. Uh, anybody can do that. But when you look at a window and you see it caked in vape juice, you know, and a lot of them are, is one up the road called, um, oh, what's it called? Same side e I think it is. It's in Hyde, yeah. And you can't even see through it. Is that much vape juice on the windows you can't even see it and you go in there and it's like whoa everybody's vaping away these big clouds and being a vapor you think that i'd be into that uh, but we're not all like that and i'm not one of them vapors and it goes in this shop uh no smoking and their window is absolutely crystal clear and don't get me wrong they're vaping away well the the one is a guy there when i turned up what was his name now callum Callum, hey, what a guy, I'm get, get to it in a bit, but his name's Callum, and he's serving a customer, I've looked around, and I'm looking at the decor, and it's all nice and subdued and dark, uh, you, you know, that sort of, I don't know if you ever remember, and you might not, you see, it's an hard one, this one, because I remember when I was, a kid, when I was young, I was going to say a kid then, naughty, uh, if we went down Cross Street in Manchester, a lot of the tobacconists was down there, and you'd go in, it was all this plush, nice dark wood, you know, nice, nice, uh, relaxing atmosphere, a couple of chairs here and there, and it used to be a pleasure to go in, and you had all these aromas going on. Well, this is what this, this shop brought back to me, you know what I mean? I walked in and I thought, I feel like I could stand in here for a few hours, no issue at all, and I could chill away, and, you know, maybe vape. Now, this shop was too small to have a chair because of the way they had, they had it set out. But I carried on looking round and it was no mass amounts of equipment. You know, they had a cabinet on one side with maybe four or five mods in it, four or five mods in the window, four or five mods over there. And there was expensive mods as well. You know, and they didn't only do the cheap stuff, but they did expensive stuff as well. And then I looked around at the juice, and on one side they had what you call guest juice, yeah? So down one side they had guest juice, uh, of which they sold, and on the left-hand side, as you walked in the shop, they had their own, their own brand. And the good thing about their own brand is it was all very, very dark, you couldn't really make anything out, everything looked the same, and it was like, well... I don't need to be looking there now. You know, you don't have to spend me time trying to squint my eyes to see what juices you have because on the right-hand side, they had a nice menu, a really nice menu with their own full range on, yeah? Now, so I felt, I felt at home and this is the reason why I'm sort of doing this video is because I believe people like this need a shout-out when they're sort of getting everything right 
and a lot of the shops are not getting everything right and they're complaining that they're not making money and I think what it is because they're not welcoming enough or they're just trying to sort of cater for one type of vapour. Now while I was in there there must have been five or six people at least who came and went. You know, you understand what I'm saying? And every single one of them got what they wanted. They didn't have to sort of get into it. It was no sort of... How can I say it? This guy, Callum, just seemed to know his stuff. Now, he wasn't the owner. In fact, he's a student. As far as I know, he's a student and he works there so many hours a week, whatever. But this guy knew everything you needed to know about vaping. And this is another thing, is when you get somebody who knows everything about vaping, he had a top-end mod, he wasn't posy about it because he had uh, other mods that he could use, you know what I mean? He wasn't vaping away until you vaped. It was like, well, he wasn't just vaping all the time. It was like, if you had a go of the vape, then he might have a go himself, that sort of thing. But the point is, he was full of knowledge. And I felt like I could ask him a question. In fact, I felt like he actually knew more than me. It was that sort. It was one of them youngsters that gathered knowledge, you know, that wanted every bit of information so that when you fired a question at him, he had the answer. And that was the way it was. So at this point, I sort of had to give away who it was because at the end of the day, I had a camera with me. Now, I didn't do any footage really other than take a few pictures in there. Yeah. So you're not going to see any footage of them other than a, a little bit of Callum who was there and uh, as soon as I said to him where's John he must have clicked so oh, it must be somebody who knows John because John's the owner of the shop and he said he's not here yet I said oh, that's nice isn't it because I told him that was a, he, said, he said you can call in at any time and I could see him and obviously I picked the time he wasn't there but he did turn up later on yeah now I, I just I've had to sort of get in front of the camera and shout about it because uh, when John turned up and we started talking about things. He informed me that he was going to do another refit on the, uh, the the shop because he felt like he needed ventilation in there. And I'll agree in a way, but it wasn't that important. You understand what I'm saying? And he wanted to change a few things on the design, that sort of thing. And uh, I, I, I was I was like, no, you don't want to do that. It's, it's absolutely spot on the way it was. It really is like, you know what I mean? And uh, with the, with then we sort of started talking about vaping in general and the way it's going and... Uh, where they get the juice from it's all tpd compliant because they're having to go down that road now and what is done to achieve it to be tpd compliant uh, and how he gets a lot of guest juice in which he are uh, garbage and he refuses to stop them uh, which i thought was an excellent thing and then i got, I got onto the subject about the guest juice and what was there and he says every single one of them juice what's there and it wasn't a lot i mean it wasn't like a vast array you know maybe i don't know maybe maybe 15 maybe 15 guest juice that sort of thing uh, gold was one of them which i haven't tried you know, haven't tried gold and i still haven't tried it by the way but i just remember everything that i had it says i can assure you that is nothing absolutely nothing wrong with the stuff i sell it's said very very picky at the way that i do things that the way they liquid it's, you've got to understand in vape shops right now is all the time you're getting bombarded with people who's trying to get you to stock their juice and if you know i mean and this is this is my opinion now what i've learned as i've been vaping over the last few years is that there's a lot of juices out there with fancy names and they don't live up to them names and you usually when you sort of do a little bit of digging you'll find that they're part of another company who's part of another company who's part of another company who's part of a white label company yeah these are the people where you go in and you say right i want to bring my own juice out and they'll they'll really they'll put labels on for you and they'll call it whatever you want to call it but at the end of the day it's the same crap as what everybody else is vaping now this shop sort of sort of shies away from that yeah and they've got a very good regular base now as i say uh, uh, the customers that was coming in that shop and was asking questions and some was first timers uh, they approached them in the level of what they was at i mean it was no snobbery going on this guy callum yeah i could tell that he liked you know sub home and that sort of thing but it was no snob snobbery about it he understood that people went in there and they liked juice uh, maybe not subom or they liked a particular flavour or they liked a particular nick level it could give you advice on everything and that to me is what is lacking 
in reviews on YouTube. There's not enough shouting for shops like that. And uh, if you ever get the chance, maybe you're in Manchester, maybe you're in Cheadle. Uh, I mean, beautiful place, Cheadle, without a doubt. It really was a nice place. Uh, and I did actually, I've spoke to him since. I'm not telling him anything about this video. I don't do that, you know what I mean? Then you're sort of doing favours for people, aren't you? You know, if you turn around and say, well, I'll do a video, and then you're committed. Uh, it wasn't. It was like, like I was so impressed with what I went through uh, when I went down there that I thought they deserved a shout-out. And, boy, I really think they deserve a shout-out. Now, what I'm asking you to do is maybe you've got a local shop which is similar to this. You know, where when you go in, you're treated as a customer and not as a mate. You know, one of the crowd. You know, oh, here he is. Let's all get our stuff out and start chain vaping away. Let's get massive big clouds going and see how bloody cloudy it can get in there. I don't want that. There's absolutely hundreds of thousands of people out there who don't want that. A lot of them are scared of going in vape shops because of what they're confronted with. And the worst part of it is the culprits in, the, in these vape shops don't realise that they're damaging their own industry. And it's shops like uh, No Smoking, which is sort of just a pleasure to shout about. It really is. Now, I haven't got anything else to say, and I did say it was a bit of a crazy vlog. Uh, thanks for watching. Maybe you didn't want to watch it in the first place. But on this occasion, I felt that a shop needed a shout out, and I've done that. So if you get a chance... Uh, and you're down that way and I'll have a look and see if they've got a website because if they have I'll put a link down below in fact I'm pretty certain they have but these guys no matter what question you ask them they're going to give you the answer thanks for watching see you